We have numbers 5 8 and 7 11. They're fractions, but they're also rational numbers. Well, I can convert these fractions into a decimal form. And the way to do that is take the number on the bottom and divide it into the number on the top. Um, 8 goes into 5 times, none, so I'm going to put a 0 there. 8 goes into 50, it goes into there 6 times. 6 times 8 is 48. Subtract a 2, I'm left with a 2. 8 does not go into 2, so I'm going to drop down to 0. 8 goes into 20, 2 times. 8 times 2 is 16. Repeat the process, 8 goes into 40, 5 times. So the decimal equivalent of 5 eighths is 0.625. Now that's a great skill to learn to know how to do. I know many of you will just use a calculator, divide 5 into 8, and you're going to get to the same expression. That's fine. I have no problem with that. But please make sure that you've owned the skill first before you start renting it out to the black box to do it for you. Same thing with 7 elevenths. You can just go ahead and put 11 on the outside and 7 and then just start working your way through to get to what its decimal equivalent is.